Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the last day of the month which means it is time for the show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what goodies came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Once a month, I like to stop by with this show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. Each month, I love it when you share your sheet load cards with me. There are a few different ways you can do that. You can share a video here on YouTube, you can share a picture on Instagram, or you can send in a card for me to share in the end of the month video. If you're interested in finding out more about how you can show me your sheet load, I have that video linked in the description box below. Today, I'll be showing you what I got in my P.O. box this month. Sometimes they are sheet load cards, sometimes it is just happy mail for me. But before I get to that, I want to let you know that I have linked all of the subscriber YouTube videos below, as well as the hashtag on Instagram, so if you want to go see what others have created this month, but that they didn't send in to me. Just like last month, I'm going to bypass having you watch me actually open each envelope and pull everything out. I am going to take pictures and then tell you who sent it to me and talk about their cards or what they sent. Let's go ahead and open these up. This first card came from Karen F. in Florida. It is using the June 2020 sheet load of cards and I just love that gold foiled pattern paper. It has kind of a map or a cartography look. And if you look on the right, she was sweet enough to send me in some of her stash of the Lily Impression Stampin' Up! paper. I know that I've received a few cards lately using this pattern paper and I always say how much I love it. Thank you so much, Karen, for sending that in. This next card is another June sheet load card, and it is from Christine B. of Ohio. In her note inside, she said that with her layout, she was having trouble with that third banner. I have to say, I really love how she left that off and added that twine around the second banner. This would make a card that you could use for any occasion. Thanks, Christine. Wanda R. has sent in another card this month and she has also used the June sheet load of cards. I love the black and white background and then the colorful banners on hers. Now Wanda, I have to ask you, where did you get those teeny tiny mirrors on your card? I think I have to have some of those. Thanks Wanda. Diane A. from California has also used the June sheet load of cards. I have to say I am loving seeing everybody's take on this month. I especially like that background paper and how she has embellished her third banner with some die cut stamped flowers. Thanks so much Diane! Nancy L. from my home state of Iowa has sent in the next card. It is very patriotic. I am loving the stamped banner and all of those pattern papers. It's very fitting for the upcoming holiday. Thanks for sending that in, Nancy. And speaking of Iowa and home, this next card is from my mom, Gloria. She always is great about sending out notes, even when it's not coronavirus time. So I was thrilled when I got this and saw that she had used the June sheet load. Now just a heads up that she's going to be visiting starting next week. So I'm going to be spending some time with her, so don't worry if I'm not around here as much. Thanks, Mom! Naomi H. has sent in this next card also using the June sheet load of cards and if you have been watching my show us your sheet load features for very long, you're going to recognize her name and her style. She always sends in the neatest patriotic cards that she makes and sends to Cards for Soldiers. Thanks so much Naomi! Christina M. from Illinois' card is right on time for a little Christmas in July. She has also used the June 2020 sheet load, and I just love how that third banner is a tag. It works perfectly. Thanks so much for sending that in, Christina. 
Linda H. from Maryland sent in this next card, which is another June 2020 Sheetload of Cards card, and she must have ESP and knew that I was going to ask her about this dragonfly on the front. She actually sent in a supply list so I would know exactly what she used. If you're interested, that dragonfly is a die from Technique Tuesday, and that blue tone on tone shiny paper is from Hobby Lobby, she thinks. And then look how she also decorated the inside with the same die. Thanks so much for sending that in, Linda. I'm so sad to say that I can't tell you who made these next two adorable cards. All I know is that they were postmarked from Miami, Florida. If these are familiar, please let me know below that you sent them in. On the left, the subscriber has used the May 2020 sheet load of cards, and on the right, the Paris theme card, it is the April 2020 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for sending these in. The next card and goodies came from Sandy B in the UK. Not only did she use the May 2020 sheet load of cards to make this adorable hello card, but she has also sent me in some of the Lily Impressions Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper. I am so honored that you guys pay that much attention to what I'm saying and take the time and the effort and the money to send me in little goodies like this. I am definitely going to put this paper to use. Thanks so much, Sandy. These next two gorgeous cards came from Jacqueline C. of California. The one on the left uses a May 2020 sheet load of cards and the one on the right is from June. On the left, I am especially loving all of those layered vellum pieces behind the Happy Mother's Day. And on the right, there's so much dimension and sparkle on that. I just love these. And Jacqueline, I bet each month I say your name differently. I either say Jacqueline or Jacqueline. Could you let me know if there is a W in it so I can say it correctly from now on? Thank you so much for sending these in. These next two beautiful butterfly cards came from Anita T of Canada. She is a subscriber who got me hooked on those glitter dots. She always sends in these lovely cards using Prima papers and the butterflies that she has used on today's card. She said they're recollections and she got those from Michaels. I know that if we were friends in real life that she would enable me to buy way too much stuff. Thanks so much Anita for sending these in. And last but not least is my envelope from Lisa S. of California. She did contact me, so I did know this was on the way, but she ended up with an extra Distress Oxide in the new speckled egg color, and she asked me if I would like it. And of course I said yes. It was so generous, Lisa, of you to send this to me. Thank you so much. I also love your adorable card. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to make a card and send it in, and especially for those little extra goodies. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.